you started your career uh, at a place where they had a pretty legendary home field advantage. How can the Giants, you know, bring that kind of uh, uh, advantage to, here to, to New Jersey? Yeah, I think uh, no matter where you're at, obviously um, Green Bay was an awesome franchise, but this place is just as historic. Um, and I've heard nothing but positive things about the fans, and I'm just excited to get out there today, um, see those guys, see everybody out there wearing their jerseys, screaming, yelling. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be special. Was there a sense at Lambeau that you know there was, you know, that that it was an advantage? Um, I think every single person or every single team has a kind of home field advantage to it. Um, and I think it all depends on the kind of ebbs and flows of a game. Uh, you're out there dominating, uh, scoring a lot of points, holding holding teams to very few points. The fans are going to back you, and they're going to kind of um, make make that home field advantage uh, that much more. Respect. Blake, if you look at the defense thus far that you've seen from this squad this year versus last year, do you see any different characteristics, qualities, difference in speed? physicality. I just was curious what you thought of this group. No, yeah, obviously uh, last year was last year. This is a new year, um, new group, new guys, um, kind of new chemistry and things like that. Uh, overall, I can kind of just speak for this training camp, what I've been a part of throughout these practices and things like that, that this group is um, has a lot of potential, but it's all about us putting it, uh, putting that work in every single day, uh, working together, becoming a full unit, all working um, in unison, uh, making all the checks, everything, being in the right position, making plays. All shorts. Hey, Blake. Um, when, when you look at this team, um, you know, nothing is set in stone anywhere, really, but there's a lot of places where in positions you kind of can figure out what's going on. Um, probably not so with linebackers and uh, inside linebackers other than you. Um, um, is it either disconcerting or, or do you see it as a big competition as far as who's going to be lining up next to you snap to snap once the season starts? No, I think it's competition every day. It's something I can't I can't go out there and be like, oh, I'm, I'm starting. It's it's something you want to work at every single day to get better. You have to keep improving. Coach Judge talks about it all the time. We don't have starters. You have to earn it. Um, and that's the thing. No matter what, I go out there every day and saying, hey, I'm going to be the guy out there. It's not, hey, I'm already the guy. And so I think – Throughout the group, I think we all have that kind of same thought process and put in the work every single day and making each other better, uh, iron sharp, sharpens iron type of thing. Uh, what about the, the guy who, who, if you do start, um, <laughs> if you, you know, if some crazy thing happens in the world and you actually start, um, the guy next to you inside, I mean, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of guys you're sorting through, older guys, younger guys. What's your sense on that competition and how strong that position next to you can be? No, I think it's extremely strong. I think we have a lot of guys across the board. Um, Devontae, Reggie, Tay, um, list goes on. And it's just those types of guys coming into work every single day, understanding situations, understanding their job responsibilities, their athletic skill set, all those types of things. It's going to make it uh, for a, an awesome training camp. And like I said, iron sharpens iron. And I think each and every one of us, whoever ends up out there for week one, is going to be ready to go. Thank you. Ed. Hey, Blake. Coach said the other day that when Saquon started to practice in some of the drills, he sort of assigned you to Saquon to sort of shadow him. It's really kind of a two-part question. What's involved in that for you? And, and did you kind of take that as a sign of respect that he would give you that responsibility? No, for sure. I think uh, last year, every single time we did things, it was always me and Saquon. Um, every single time he came up for a certain competition drill and things like that, I made sure I was right there. Um, and kind of goes back to saying it again, the iron sharpens iron type of thing, but also with Saquon coming back um, with his injury and things like that, uh, I think the coach was, like trusts me and knows that we're going to get the work in needed, but not, no kind of funny business or out of control is going to happen uh, during those drills.